Chris, the dating doc here in this episode, going to be a little controversial, okay? Drum roll, please. We're going to talk about men's empowerment, male empowerment, men's empowerment. We're going to talk about pickup artists and the king and queen mentality and so much more here at the Dating Doc Podcast. Check it out. Now, this one's for the fellas. Guys, if, if you know that a woman is trying to play games with you, right? For example, you know that uh, you're interested in her. You two have been messaging each other. Things have been going well. And all of a sudden, they, they stop communicating. And they get, then they say they get busy, right? They talk about work has been busy. Talk about they got to take care of the kid or whatnot. But just the last couple of days, you're back and forth on the messages, Right here, they are already getting bored. Learn your boundaries, fellas. Okay, that's where you got to just tell yourself, okay, am I going to chase this validation? Am I going to chase this attention? This is where that sneaky thought comes in your head of, you know what, this person just wants attention. Okay, because if she gets bored that easily and she's not trying to get to know you, then uh, she's just trying to, you know, be entertained for the time being. And you know what, even if you're looking for casual or short term, you still got to have a connection with someone, right? There's there's this thought that um, when it comes to long-term or short-term that you don't have to build a connection. Both ways, you got to build a good vibe. You do. The only difference is you're just being honest with what you want. You're being honest if you want long-term. You're being honest if you want short-term. But I'm telling you, fellas, if a woman's just out here getting bored easily, whether she claims she want long-term or she's a short-term kind of woman, dropper okay they talk about women's empowerment men's empowerment i'm gonna give you this one ladies i know you're listening you might not like this but yeah if you bored more than likely you're boring and guys i'm telling you right now drop them because they got nothing interesting to say i don't care if they say they're busy because all of a sudden they weren't busy two three days ago when they were sending you those memes sending you messages here and there and I can understand if you have a conference, you can't be on your phone, family emergency, you're on the plane. Those are valid. But if those those excuses don't exist, why waste your time? Learn your boundaries, man. Quit chasing. Chase only what's worth. Okay? Again, chase only what's worth it. Okay? You're, people are out here chasing, chasing nickels and $2.00. You need to chase the lottery. You need to chase something that's worthwhile. So ladies, if you're easily bored, you're more than likely boring. And I got it. I don't want to hear all this. It, it, you know, it applies to men and all that. I got you. Okay. If you're so offended, hey, you probably fit that. Okay. This is for the fellas. Give it to them. Okay. Is that okay? We'll be back. Hey, how's it going? If you've ever thought about making your own podcast and you kind of get into that analysis paralysis, you don't know how to start, check out Anchor. I'm telling you right now, Anchor is at the edge of technology. It's the easiest way for you to get your podcast going. I mean, you, all you have to do is you start it up on your phone. You don't need any kind of crazy setup and 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 advanced microphones or whatnot. You can do it off your phone or computer. And the cool thing about Anchor is that it automatically distributes it out to the most popular podcast platforms, right? So what I'm talking about is it can get it to you on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And you can make money off your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's easy. And um, it's kind of an all-in-one. So check out Anchor. Get your ideas. Get your motivation out there into the public space. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started, okay? Download the app or anchor.fm to get started. So in our industry, we have all kinds of folks that are in the dating service space, everything from matchmaking, date coaches like myself, PUAs, relationship coaches, holistic uh, essential oils, tantra, sex, yogi, all kinds of goodness, right? 
And part of this is what uh, I mentioned, which was PUAs, pickup artists. Now, majority of these are men who teach other men pickup techniques, right? Ways to to assert yourself, to show a woman that uh, you're charming and 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 you could easily pick them up. And now, here's the thing. I'm not a fan of pickup artists. I am a fan of life coaches, dating coaches, those that teach mindset. I'm not a fan of these folks that have names that end in Vegas or some kind of Chad Kyle type of name. Okay. You know, Vinny D or Robbie V, you know, or uh, something like uh, Dennis Vegas. You know, these names that sound like porn names or sound like, you know, pro wrestler names from the 80s. Y'all need to drop that act. Because what I notice from most of these pickup artists is they don't have kids and most of them are not in a heavy profession. And what I mean by that is they maybe only make their money off being a pickup artist. All right. Uh, for y'all that know me, I'm also an army officer at my MBA. What do I mean by all this? It's not to brag. It just means there's hustle in my game. There's there's a character. There's a story behind all this. You know, I'm not out here putting my my hair up in a in a mop and showing my chest hairs, wearing a V-neck shirt and all that jazz, and uh, sprucing up the, the cologne. Pick up artist. You guys got to man up. Get get rid of these techniques. Because guess what? When it comes to what I do, my profession which is being a warfighter, okay? I don't care if you're special forces. I don't care if you're a supply clerk. We are bottom line warfighters and we have to have that war mentality, okay? That's how we protect our freedoms. I'm not gonna recruit no pickup artists, okay? Techniques are not gonna work when you got bullets flying. Techniques are not gonna work when you're stressed, okay? And that's the kind of mindset, that's the alpha mindset you need to have as a man or woman. So this little bit, this little segment, is calling out all those pickup artists, right? You're charming. You're going to have your one-liners, your two-liners. You may even have a response to what I'm saying right now. And I dare you to have a response, right? You're going to claim that you're helping guys and whatnot. You know the deal. Come on now. You know the deal. You're teaching techniques. You're not teaching mindset. Are you really teaching men to be men? Are you even a man? Knowing that you're scheming, again, mainly men, into paying all this kind of money so they can get laid, right? And now y'all disguise it as, uh, you know, hey, we're 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 here trying to we're we're trying to teach men how to how to become the best version of themselves, but it's centered around what? What is it centered around, right? So what I'm saying is, for the pickup artists out there, I need to drop the axe, get back to your real name. Get back to who you are. If you've read the game, okay, read about mystery. Read about mystery, the author of the game, uh, Eric Strauss, I believe that's his name. The man went crazy. He legit went crazy towards the end of the book because guess what? He couldn't keep track of you know the techniques and who he was. He lost himself, right? And they always talk about be yourself, truly be yourself. So shout out. To Robbie Vegas, Big D, you know, Man Whore, whatever your names are. Um, y'all gotta grow up. Okay, this industry, this industry is gonna be ran by real people. All right, you gotta grow out of it one day. I'm a dad, I'm a soldier, I'm a professional, and I help both men and women. I'm not scared to help both men and women. Okay, when you can do that, then you got my salute. Megan Markle. You know what? Princess Megan Markle. I don't even know if she's a princess or whatnot, but you know what? Princess Megan Markle and Prince Harry owned, owned British royalty. It's a beautiful thing. This happened in 2020. Clear vision, right? 2020. 2020 vision for true royalty. 
that chose love and commitment over these bygone rules. And dare I say, subtle racism, maybe overt racism. I don't know all the details. Because again, sometimes that covert racism is even more of a slap in the face than the overt. What I mean by that is, who knows what's going on, right? You probably had Queen Elizabeth making some slide comments. Maybe had Kate making some comments about, uh, you know, the fact that Meghan Markle's a little bit more on the melanated side. But Prince Harry owned it by saying, you know what? Forget my toxic family. That's the irony of it. It's a toxic royal family. Royalty does not always equal class. Again, I say that royalty does not always equal class. So when someone thinks they're on their high horse, it's character, it's integrity, it's accountability. It's being able to depend on those that have depended on you and you showing them that loyalty. That's what matters. Defining, truly defining royalty, right? I'm not going to get into church too much, but there's a saying, a certain historical figure that's called the servant king. And I love that because that's the kind of mentality we should all have towards each other. Whether you're dating, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're married, be that servant king or queen. And I know you get all nervous. Oh, what do you mean a servant? That doesn't mean subservient. It doesn't mean in a negative connotation. What this means, the beauty of all this, is that you're able to be of service for the other person. Because now you have all these groups, right? You have the MGTOW movement, which is basically a movement where men are like, forget woman. Fourth wave feminism at its most dangerous extreme is definitely anti-men. So you have these, these groups that are just polarized against each other because they have both forgotten how to be servant royalty for each other. That's the magic of it, right? But we have all these rules, uh, you know, play hard to get. Don't, don't, sh- don't tell them that you like them. Don't tell her that you like her. This unspoken language, you know, now it's emojis and, and whatnot. It's a whole nother different world. But Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just obliterated. They flipped the script. This is the best Disney script. This is like modern Disney. They ran off instead of the princess running off from her family. No, a couple said, you know what? Forget it. And you're talking centuries old, shut tight traditions. And Prince Harry and Meghan Markle like, forget all you. And you know what's going to happen. You, We already know. The media is going to spin it. You're going to see comments on Facebook to the contrary and how they they broke they broke the code. They they you know they should have uh, adhered to the the royal standard and what are they doing? And uh, they're just causing drama. No, they're not. Sometimes rule breakers are the ones that change the world. This is a great example. This is a great example of people that just don't stand by with the mediocrity. They don't just they don't just sit on the sidelines and deal with it. Love triumphs everything. Doesn't matter if it's sports, working out, love of a child, love of another person, love for what you do. Love triumphs over everything. That's why the good guys are still winning at the end of movies. So shout out. King and queen mentality. Seeing it firsthand. In reality, here in 2020, lovely thing. Got to support them. Now, following up on king and queen mentality, this is something that, um, as a man, right, I am the receiver of communication, attention, dates, whatever you want to call it from women, right? My past is built on dating women, 
so I see it from my vantage point, is that, um, especially with what's going on, which in some ways men are at fault for the current situation, uh, the Me Too movement, is because we are the aggressors. Statistically, we are the aggressors when it comes to sexual assault, sexual harassment, comments, things of that sort, um, unsolicited pics. It's men doing stupid stuff like that, not women. Um, though I would actually laugh instead of getting turned on a side note, I would actually laugh getting, receiving an unsolicited pic. I'm not sure if I'd be turned on. I would laugh just out of surprise. You know, like if here I am just like, Hey, what's going on? What's your favorite ice cream? You know, what sport do you like to watch? And all of a sudden I get, I get a left titty. Um, yeah, I would laugh. I'd be like, man, that's crazy. You know, just national geographic all up in it. Just show me your udders. Um, yeah, that, that would be nuts. Um, but more than likely the conversation would be over because I'm wondering how many other dudes are getting that photo, right? Um, king and queen mentality starts with your own standard, right? And your own standard is not an egotistic, uh, overly selective mentality. That, that's what happens sometimes with what I mean by servant royalty, servant king, servant queen. You have to be a servant to yourself and not in the subservient way, not, not being a slave. Okay. But serve yourself. You know, you tell yourself, you know what? I deserve the best version of me. Forget dating for a second. I need the best version of me. So if I want, for example, if I'm a woman and I say, I want the most in shape guy and you're out of shape and you're out here eating Doritos, sitting on the couch. Come on now. I don't want to hear that. You want to see the guy who's doing the work, who's putting in the discipline, was looking good, bulging biceps, shoulders. You, mm, you're like, oh man, I just, I just want him to pick me up. You keep eating like that, he's not gonna be able to pick you up. Okay, no offense. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to offend the body type. I'm trying to offend the mindset. It's a very hypocritical mindset. Same thing with a guy. Guys like, oh, you know, I'm all batshit crazy. But I want a funny, witty, creative woman that'll make me feel good. Hey, you're going to have to work on that. You're going to have to read some books. You're going to have to meditate. You're going to have to you're going to have to deal with whatever mess that makes you come off creepy or come off not as um, attractive to the opposite sex. So that's what king and queen mentality is. Okay, it doesn't mean that you're regal. You think you're better than other people. Because when you think you're better than other people, that's when you're blinded. To use the metaphor of UFC and boxing, I love UFC and boxing. Those that think they're better than others are knocked out the best. Again, those that think they're better than others get knocked out the best. And it's human nature. These reality shows are built upon the aspect that some of these characters think they're better than others. Deep down, we know they're flawed. So when something bad happens, it's this like dopamine release. We're like, oh, that asshole on TV got their got their got their due, right? The the the, the douchebag got voted off the island. Oh, that's such a dopamine release. And guess what? The TV producers know that, and that applies to reality. It applies to reality that if you think you're you're the ish, you're gonna fall harder. So to go to come back full circle, king and queen mentality. Okay. Stick to that mindset. Stick to the fact that you have to have your own standard. And part of your own standard is not being overly selective to where you end up being alone. And being end up alone does not mean you have to get married. What it means is that you have become so overly selective that you have shut yourself off. You've shut off your energy, your vibe, your vibrations. I can go into that even deeper in another podcast. You have shut your vibrations off to the point that regardless how good you look, no one wants to be around you. You don't want that. So king and queen, are you one? Are you the popper? What's going on here? Stay tuned. Keep on listening to the Dating Doc Podcast. I love your support, folks.
top three reasons, top three reasons that people do not self-improve. Number one, laziness. You want to be in your comfort bubble. You don't want to move. You don't want to do, you don't want to push yourself. That's the main reason people don't work out, read, or improve themselves. They'd rather be in their comfort bubble, being the same old person they were last year. Second reason is money. Okay. They work hard for their money, yet they would rather spend it on booze, on movies, on clothes, all this stuff that after a while, it's the law of diminishing returns. They don't get any more value out of it, but they're willing to spend more money on these distractions. But they're not going to buy a book. They're not going to buy a program. They're not going to buy a gym membership. Third reason is stranger danger. People out there like myself who our job is to help people. And the thing is, it kind of goes into the laziness part. They're not willing to push outside themselves and learn from someone, whether it's a personal trainer, financial advisor. Um, at most, maybe they're okay with going to church, you know, sitting all the way back in church and feeling comfortable. But you know what? You got to kill that laziness. You got to invest in yourself monetarily. And you can't be scared of leaning on others to help you, especially professionals. And that's why we got the Dating 2020 Boot Camp. Again, get away from that stranger danger. You get assigned an accountability partner that's going to help you keep track of your progress. You're both helping each other out. Everybody starts off as strangers and then become friends or family members. Every single person in this world starts off as a stranger. So get off your butt. Check out the Dating 20. 20 boot camp on the datingdoc.com again dating 2020 right now we have a pre-registration special it's uh very very affordable but you got to go to the datingdoc.com check it out